Cookies and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you my Titan designs and um, this video is a tribute to Attack on Titan. I love it. It's my favorite anime. I read the manga. I watch the show. I just, I love it so much and I feel like Mr. Isayama did such a great job writing the story and the characters and just some parts of the story fill me with so much dread and despair and everything about the story is just it's beautiful in my opinion and it's ending soon and honestly at this point i don't care how it ends i just i will love it till the end i think it's amazing and that is why i decided to um design my own titans and i would like to say that this video has no spoilers um every character i talk about or i reference and all the titans they have already been shown in the um anime so if you're watching don't worry about spoilers and um before i get started i would also like to say that i love all the characters um and this video is in no way um to discredit mr isayama all his characters are irreplaceable in my heart and i love all of them so this is no hate to his designs i just really wanted to create some fan art and i thought designing my own titans would be a great way to do it so um yeah enjoy first things first is my female titan and you can see all the inspirations that i got from annie um i don't really think there's really too much i could have done because the way mr isayama designed annie the plates on her body the hardened parts kind of form around um where certain muscles would be so it gives her good mobility and i did try to show that in my titan i didn't want her to look too stiff and um the finished version her plates kind of look stiff because of the style i drew it in so if i were to redraw it again i would try to blend in her harder parts um her body plates more in with her skin so that she doesn't look like she can't run around and stomp on people and crush people and all that stuff and also she is loosely very loosely inspired by mikasa and i just i decided to give her like silver hair because i felt like it would look really cool and i know annie already has blonde hair and i feel like i wanted my titan to look like a completely different person so um that's kind of where i got that from and um i think i think it looks great I, I i love the design i love it a lot and um i i pretend i pretend she's like mikasa or whoever is inside of her is like similar similar to mikasa because i feel like um i remember in the show when annie and mikasa were about to have like their face off and stuff and i feel like it would be cool if they were both titans so that's kind of where um my titan kind of got its inspiration from a little bit from mikasa um and i just i think she looks amazing and she looks really cool and uh yeah that's it my next titan is the beast titan and after seeing this design my brother told me it was his favorite so i'm kind of happy because i feel like aside from how i see it which is like he looks amazing i feel like someone else saw it that way and it was really cool and i felt like i had some big big shoes even bigger shoes to fill because the beast titan is absolutely he's so scary and um when he was first introduced i i almost i i was scared you know i was scared i was like oh my god this is like an abomination you know um his design is beautiful he is so scary um he can talk he can do all this stuff and it's just like it's a lot you know whenever he shows up you know this destruction is about to happen i remember the arc where um where er, um erwin got injured uh, injured and like a lot of the scouts just died because he just kept them throwing boulders at them it was a lot so um i wanted my my beast titan to look really really cool and my beast titan is inspired by a buck a deer so um he does have like antlers and his fur has like four different colors he has like a lot of different uh fur variations mostly because um his fur is segmented and i didn't want all of it to look one color and i feel like zeke's uh, beast titan was able to have like one color fur because his fur around his body you he has like a lot of bare area in his body so i feel like if i made my titan one color it would kind of look wrong and i wanted my titan to also look very intimidating so i gave him like red eyes and he does have like uh uh features of a deer so i had to look like at, at a buck and a deer to find like the antlers the ears the nose 
all his features i want them to look kind of deer like and he doesn't have like regular feet his feet kind of look like um ho hooves so um yeah that's and he has like big arms his arms aren't as long as zeke but his arms are like big they're like very big and strong and i just wanted him to look big and intimidating and he is taller than zeke so they're like the same height but because of his antlers he's much taller and his antlers and the bones that surround like his arms and his waist they're kind of made out of like the same hardening material um that my female titan has on her toes and also like the war hammer titan is made out of so like his hands and his like the tips of his feet and his antlers they're very very hard so um yeah this is my uh buck the guardian beast titan he's very very tall and there's a little fin for comparison this design is it's it's very beautiful and i feel like it captures the spirit of the beast and also um the animal that the beast is supposed to um represent this time around in this titan shifter this is uh my chrome knight my warhammer titan and i know he's not like holding his traditional uh their traditional warhammer but um i want to draw them with a different weapon and they can summon any kind of weapon they want so it doesn't really matter but just pretend they're holding the warhammer and i have like the crystal that encases the holder and i know it's usually like underground or hidden somewhere but i wanted the crystal to just be there just for like the design sake and my titan has a lot of um exposed areas um like for example um lara tiber's um warhammer titan her titan just had like the mouth part and part of her neck exposed and i know the armor is very hard around their body and it does help with defense and stuff and i know my titan having more exposed areas kind of make them a little bit more vulnerable but i thought just for design sake i want to draw some cool um patterns around their body so that's why they have all this exposed area and even though they have this exposed area i still wanted um for the area to look very small so that they couldn't even possibly face damage from these tiny little slits in their body and they just look muscular and beautiful and i think they just look solid and really really nice okay so for my last titan that i designed this titan was actually the reason i made this in the first place um when i was discussing the show with my brother we started talking about our favorite titan designs and we both really really love the warhammer titan because of its cool powers and just um it was just it's just really cool and um I, I just told him that I felt like Emir's Titan, as much as I loved her, her Titan, I just wish she had like a little bit more pizzazz, you know? She had like something going on, like some kind of fur or something. And my jaw Titan is inspired by both Emir's Titan and um, Porco's uh, Galliard's Titan. And I want to kind of mix their designs a little bit. And lastly, it's very loosely inspired by Levi, so that's kind of why it looks like Levi and um i went to give it some fancy fur and just like uh it's um it's claws and it's like it's nails which are like the signature parts of the jaw titan which is its jaw its claws and like its nails like they're, those are like really really sharp so i want to just highlight those and i want to give it some um armored plates around its body and like some really cool fur um i really love porco's hair and his beard but i didn't want to just rip that off and copy it so that's kind of why i gave my jaw titan these features and my brother gave me some feedback he told me basically it doesn't look ugly enough so um i i had already finished by the time i saw his feedback so i'll probably like do another design based on um his criticism um basically he said my titan looks too pretty and too like a human which is like understandable because i kind of got conflicted like i went for emir and porco's design together and emir has a really big head and porco's head is very big but in some parts like especially the reference picture i was using his head proportional to his shoulders looked like normal size so i kind of got confused when i was making the design but overall i feel like this titan even though he doesn't look he looks he doesn't look cute but he looks too human and i felt like that's kind of the flaw in my design but i think uh i was on the right track with the claws and the nails 
and I love the way the jaw looks. It looks like a helmet in a way, but it's still blended into its face. But he also looks like he can get a really big juicy bite. So yeah, I feel like I accomplished that. And I don't know, I think he looks amazing. And there's little Finn to show you a reference. Finn is five foot tall, by the way. So um, you can see how tall you would look compared to, to him. And uh, yeah that's it um that's that's it those are my titan designs and i only got to designing four titans because i'm tired and i'm busy i'm a full-time college student so sometimes i just i just want to sleep and i went to design all nine titans but i decided to just go with the titans i was the most excited to design like i love reiner but thinking of a just another armored titan design i feel like that would blow up my brain because his design is complicated and i want to also um do the card titan and aaron but the card titan just their posture like i feel like if i drew them i want to draw some cool um weapon machinery on top of their back and it just my brain was just short-circuiting thinking about designing like some kind of weapon for the card titan and um, I don't know, I might make like a part two where I design the Titans, but that depends on if I have like any time. And I would like to do it before the show officially ends. So um, yeah, I hope if you're a fan of Attack on Titan, you like my Titan designs. And um, I know like <laughs> they look a little complicated, but yeah, you can tell me which one is your favorite, if you like any of them. And um, I hope you love Attack on Titan as much as I do because that shit is good. I'm gonna go now. I'll probably post these on Twitter. I hope Mr. Isayama will see and that he'll like my designs. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go now. Uh, goodbye. Have a nice day. Uh, yeah, subscribe, I guess. <laughs> I don't know why I said that last week. Yeah, um, I'll see you later. Bye.